One of my favorite things about the Episcopal Church is the freedom that can be found in the structure of our liturgy. While the Book of Common Prayer clearly lays out the order in which the hymns, lessons, sermon, and prayers should be said or sung, it doesn't tell us what form these offerings should take, and it includes instructions or rubrics in its text, which gives us the flexibility to explore a variety of resources to enhance and expand our worship. In his book about the wisdom of spirituals, entitled Wade in the Water, clinical psychologist and teacher Arthur Jones declares that even if we don't share his African-American lineage, the spirituals are available to all who are prepared to open themselves to the unsettling, healing power that inhabits these marvelous songs of life. Our challenges may be different from those of his enslaved ancestors, but the insistent beauty and undeniable spiritual genius of their songs testifies to the unlimited possibilities for human transformation for all of us who work to live God's love.